Do you know KRR 797F? Well, he's a real land monster. He's the second largest off-road dump truck in the world, and also the second largest mining vehicle in the world. This monster is made in Illinois by Caterpillar Incorporated, the American company known for excavators and other construction vehicles. They all stand out for their yellow color. To better gauge its size, notice how a person appears standing beside it. Just look at the size of those tires. It's really gigantic. But let's talk about its colossal dimensions. The Caterpillar 797F is 9.75 meters wide, 15 meters long, and 7.7 .7 meters tall, which is about the height of a two-story building. Its fuel tank holds 3,785 liters of diesel, and it needs to be refueled every 12 hours of work. It weighs, but before I tell you its weight, do you know? How much does it weigh? A fully loaded semi-truck weighs around 40 tons. The Caterpillar, 797 weighs 623 tons, which means it's about 15 fully loaded trucks. And that's its weight when it's empty. That's a lot. Each wheel is four meters tall, and each one weighs five tons and 300 kilos and it uses six wheels to move. Each of these wheels costs just over $45,000. Just its engine, the Caterpillar C1, 17520, weighs 23 tons and 400 kilos, just the engine. Its dump bed alone, where it carries the load, weighs 43 tons and has an internal depth of three meters and it can carry an incredible 364 tons of cargo in its dump bed and in some extreme cases up to 400 tons. And you might ask, what kind of cargo? Well, earth. A lot of earth. Sometimes rocks and pieces of stone too. That's what it was built for. To transport earth, rocks, and anything else that is extracted or needs to be moved in a large mine from one place to another a task it performs with great perfection and efficiency, carrying a huge amount of earth at once, down the mine or up the mine, a task needing multiple trips between similar vehicles. And speaking of performing tasks, how does he manage to transport up to 400 tons of cargo at once? Its engine, the KTC 17520, is extremely powerful. It's a V20 engine, meaning a 20-cylinder quad turbocharged engine with 105.8 liters. And it needs 12 horsepower, or 12 horsepower, just to start up. That's the power of the starter dream. And the engine delivers a maximum output of an incredible 4,000 horsepower. This enables the Caterpillar 797F to reach top speeds of 68 and 63.6 .6 kilometers per hour fully loaded. It's pretty fast. All with a seven-speed automatic transmission. Surprisingly, driving it isn't very complicated and you don't need a special license. Any professional heavy vehicle driver can operate it easily. You just need to adapt and pay special attention to your surroundings because of the size of the machine and much more attention when reversing one thing they really got right in the design was making the front part of the dump bed longer, extending past the driver's cab. This allows any debris falling from the dump bed to avoid hitting the driver's cab or other parts at the front of the vehicle. And secondly, this design creates a permanent shade for the front part of the vehicle where other team members are usually present. This is its frame or chassis. Just this empty chassis weighs 210 tons. When the other components are added, the weight exceeds 300 tons. This empty space is where the engine sits. Because of its location, deeper inspections or maintenance require the vehicle to be at a certified workshop and partially disassembled. Every 12 to 15 years of service, these vehicles go through a process where they are completely disassembled, inspected, and reconditioned. 
Then they are reassembled and put back into service, a process known as a complete rebuild. An interesting fact is these vehicles are assembled outdoors. It's not hard to guess why. A task that takes about 43 days. Then they are sent to the mines. And as you can imagine, these vehicles can't drive on the roads because besides not fitting on them, they would damage the pavement due to their weight. But of course there are exceptions. So to be taken from where they are built to the mines or from one mine to another, special vehicles and a real transport operation are needed, which usually requires them to go through roads already prepared for this type of transport, as well as needing special platforms and a set of trucks for this task. Like these two platforms joined together with more than 336 wheels which were used for a transport operation in Canada. A task involving dozens of technicians, road closures, and hundreds of hours of planning and execution. And how much does it cost? Well, about $5 million. But at least the driver's seat is heated and there's a password in the cabin. Caterpillar also took the way the work done by these vehicles is performed to another level, making them autonomous. This has been happening for years in mines worldwide. And it doesn't matter if it's an excavator or a transport vehicle like the 797, all can operate autonomously with Caterpillar's optional package installed. It depends on the company's choice when acquiring vehicles. And were you impressed by its weight? 623 tons? You should know that there are other vehicles that are much bigger and much heavier used for other purposes, like the Crawler Transporter, a National Aeronautics and Space Administration vehicle used exclusively for transporting rockets. It weighs nearly 3,000 tons and can reach 3.2 kilometers per hour when unloaded. But the torque is really strong since the Space Launch System rocket weighs 2,608 tons. And there are also other vehicles, much bigger and much heavier. But anyway, leave in the comments what you think about this vehicle, which weighs 623 tons. <laughs>